Real quick, before we get into it, we are in the midst of the 2023 diving and offshore prime time. We've been getting after it, got a lot of trips filmed to come, but I wanted to let y'all know for time reference, today's video, we are jumping way ahead. I've already filmed videos that have yet to come out. And that's because today we have partnered with PC Fun. And their only condition for this is get this out ASAP. Other than that, they've just asked us to try out this reel. It's called the Vaultix 1500. It's a conventional style, what you call slow pitch jigging reel. So along with today's trip, I'm gonna make a focus to fish and try it out before we start spear fishing. I'm excited for it. I love to jig as well when we're out deep. So stay tuned and hopefully y'all enjoy it. Who died? No, he's not. Oh, crap. Yeah. No way. Right, there's a tarpon under the boat. A tarpon? There's a tarpon no. right here. It's gotta be a cougar. No, dude, the cougar's were with me. Oh it's my tarpon. gosh, that's a tarpon. Where? It's yeah, a tarpon. I wonder. <laughs> there's actually a tarpon. Huh. What? what? All right. Good morning. Welcome back. You're back out here offshore in the Ponga. We got Fisher and Blaine with us. If you guys are new here, my name is Braden Sharon. And today, we're going to be fishing first. Got a new setup I'm going to be using. It's actually a slow pitch jigging setup. PC Fun. Baltics reel. They hooked us up. Looking forward to trying it out. And then later today, we are planning on diving. So stay tuned for it. Water is mint. Cobalt blue. I think we're actually going to dive out here. We're out deep right now and we can see the structure we're fishing. So might hop in with the, the float line in big gun and go check it out. Stay tuned for it. We're going to see what we can get into. This is my first time really slow pitch jigging. We're gonna see if we can get tight. Well, I missed it, but I was reeling my jig up. And a cuda whacked me. <laughs> Classic. Gosh dang it. Guess we're gonna have to use wire. Oh. We lost that big old dude. Yup. Alright, we're switching so over to wire. There are kudas everywhere here. Got chopped off on my first drop pretty much. We're gonna be dropping this thing down. Not sure if you're supposed to slow pitch stuff like this, but got a wire leader now. That way I don't lose it right away. Got a super stout hook and let's see what happens. This thing is bound to get whacked. Looks too good. Here we go, first drop. With the pink eel. It's a six ounce jig. So I should get down there pretty quick. So far it feels awesome. Got a nice big Handle to crank. Up to 33 pounds of drag. Tell me when we're getting close so I don't have my jig too deep, if you can. There he is. Fish on. Oh yeah. Please be something we can put in the boat. Thinking red snapper is the most likely thing. I see color, but I don't know what yet. Make sure that hook is set good. Uh-oh, kudas are on it. Uh-oh, nope, nope, kudas got it, kuda got it. Nope, no! <laughs> oh, that is going to be a challenge today. Keep a red snapper though. Look at all these barracudas. Oh, no, 
<laughs> Cudas everywhere. God, there's so many. Yeah, you could free gaff these things. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, first fish with the PC fun reel. Would have been a keeper red snapper, but I guess we're gonna have to be quicker than that. That was really fun. That was awesome. Oh dang, Blaine's hooked up. Uh oh, here we go. That's a nice one. Dude. Get him up, Blaine. You gotta get him past the kudos. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the cat? I see color. Winch him up. Those kudos are eyeing it. I already know. There's your limit. Yep. Oh, there he is. This one. Let me make sure I got that hook set. All right. see color. Come here. You got one. Not a giant by any means. Check it out on the slow pitch. PC fun Voltix. Super fun on the jig. Well, I think I've had enough fun with snapper. Water is crystal clear, cobalt blue. We're gonna dive. We're gonna go check it out. Here we go. Cannot stand to not be in the water any longer. With visibility this good, when you can see the structure from the boat, you gotta check it out. This is about as prime as it gets. However, as I'm loading up here, I notice I'm drifting away from the spot really fast and despite kicking hard to try to catch up I cannot get there this current is ripping so Fisher and I realized this and we're gonna have to reset well I've never seen something more deceiving we've got slicked out seas but this current is ripping so hard I can't even stay on the spot you quit kicking for two seconds and you're already way off you still see it that's probably fine let's just try it neutral
So what we're going to have to do is make passes. Set up and jump in way up current and try to drift over the spot. A nice thing about this is now we're not going to be wearing ourselves out. We can dive a lot better. We just have to make sure that the drift is good and we actually go over where we want. Which initially was a bit of a challenge. We had to go so far up current since it was ripping so fast that it was hard to line up. The current wasn't going straight. But the next drift, what you're seeing right now, Blaine drops us in right on the money. Getting a really good look here. This is a cutoff oil platform. That's what we're diving. And if you notice, I am ripping across here. I'm not swimming this direction, that's just the current. And in one dive, I'm at the bottom, down current. So we're gonna have to reset. That was perfect. That was perfect, let's do it again. Dude, I made a dive on the, the up current side and the current swept me over the entire rig in one dive. Here is drift number three. Blaine puts us on the money once again. And as I dive down, I realize we're over two cutoffs. We've got a deeper one down here to the left, and then the one I dove over last dive up here to my right that comes up to 50 feet. I'm checking everything out. I see there's a few mangroves hanging around, but they're acting a bit skittish so I'm not sure if I can get close enough but to my surprise this one cruises up and I line it up spear blast through the fish and here normally I would be pulling that fish in as quickly as I could but since I'm using a breakaway setup I have to hold on to my gun leaving only one hand for the line so I could only hold it. I couldn't start pulling that fish in like I would like, resulting in it being able to thrash, almost tangle up, and just create a commotion, which sparks up these barracudas, as well as this big shark. <laughs> Dude, I saw that you watched it from up here? Shark, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant the shot, but you saw the shark, huh? Yeah. Look at that shot on the top side. Thankfully, we had a few good mangroves cruise in. It's crazy, you only get one dive. Here are the highlights of the next couple drifts. I saw a king. Mm -hmm. Cobia right here. You 
swam right up to me. So it started to get a bit more eventful the more we made drifts out here. Saw that amberjack, unfortunately, it's out of season. Had a cobia come up, it was undersized, but still really cool. And then we had a bunch of spade fish and bait start balling up. Everything was just coming alive, it seemed like the longer we drifted and the later it got the current actually started to straighten out more so we were able to do a lot longer drifts and we actually ended up passing over like three of these cutoffs which was just awesome a lot better than having to do one dive and reset like we did earlier in the day Here's some solid mangroves that didn't seem too shy, but didn't want to risk getting tangled up there. That would be a headache in this current. Also, I wanted to hold out for something else, possibly, that could be hanging around. Really hoping a big Kubera would swim out of the legs down there. That would definitely be worth the headache of getting wrapped up. Then there on my ascent, that cobia came back around. Maybe it was a different one, not sure. And then here was another school of kingfish. I was trying and trying to get close enough, but they were moving. Could not catch up or intercept in front of them. Now it's a little bit later. This was actually the end of our drift. We were about to hop in the boat and reset. But I started seeing a lot of spade fish and that usually means there's a structure down below. So I decided to make a dive down and just kind of see if I could spot something down there. And while I'm just coasting here, lo and behold, two Cobia crews up, one definitely being a big enough shooter, and I whack it. That was awesome. We are way off the stuff that we had been diving. But later we looped back over this and we marked that there was a a deeper cutoff down there. Hey Fisher, stay ready. I saw a giant snapper down there. Down. There was two of them. Two shooters? There was two Cobia. Yeah, I saw him a minute ago. Just made a drop. Turn out here in the open, I think there's a structure down deeper. I'm gonna have you grab that. Help, help, help. Fingers. Right? Yeah. 
Cobra baby, out in the blue. I started seeing a bunch of spade fish and bait, so I blind dropped and uh, two cobia, this was the bigger one, came in. It's just not happy at all. It's not a happy camper. Okay, um, let me do this. Oh. <laughs> Ready to break in the gas? Yeah. Try to get it when it's going that way so it doesn't hang on my leg. Oh, I didn't even do it. Right, let, her, let her wear out. You're sitting on my pin. Right. Back up. Do it over, overhand. Just go over the back of it. That works too. Good work. That's a good one. Heck yeah. Boom, baby. Let's go. It pays off. Drifting out here. Drop her down. Just get her in. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Not like that. Watch your leg. Is it in it? Oh, jeez. Dude, he's hungry. Look at him. <laughs> Dude. Give me some, baby on the float line out in open water got the barracuda circling 150 feet we're diving deep wrecks deep structures going after kingfish and shooter cobra comes up all right i think she is just passed well i am dealing with the cobia Fisher has a big school of kingfish come through. He sticks one, and then all I hear is that there's a shark on his fish. So I jump in to go help him out, try to fend it off, get a bit vocal with it. That seems to work. And we're able to secure what's left of this thing. Start swimming towards the boat. <laughs> Take us out of here. We are. Well, shark's still hanging right there. Get in here. Boom, baby. Good stuff. Oh, I see him. That's all she wrote, folks. Dude. <laughs> hey, it's a kingfish. I we mean, got one. Yeah, there were a bunch. Let's keep doing it. This is fun. That's oh, great. It's awesome. A kingfish and a cobia. Look at him. Look at him. Shark. I hate that shark, dude. That barracuda just bit his tail, and then he came in and just chomped him. Dude, he's, he's angry now. Look at him. Swimming around. That Kobe is bigger than I thought. Watch That's your fins real quick. Yeah, that is bigger than I thought. Heck yeah. Here is the last of the diving out here. Had a big school of rainbow runners come in. Saw a few more amberjacks and a big cobia, but we started to make our way back and hit some shrimp boats. That's the day you saw the mahi, like in the anchorage. Watch a mahi on the ship. Yeah. yeah. It looks green in my glasses. Mahi, 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 mahi. Oh, chickens. Little bucktails, little bucktails, little lures. That'll work on a big one. They're not that big. I want to shoot a chicken. 
There's so All right, many. we just pull up to a shrimp boat. Look at this. Look at this. Chicken mahi everywhere. Fisher's about to jump in and try to shoot one. I'm going to see if we have any little lures we can try to catch one on. There's a bunch right here. No, the lures. Oh, and that gray duffel. Look at them. Dude, they're eyeing this jig. They're Fisher, they're too, right they're too here. Small. There's like hundreds. He got one. First yeah. mahi ever. Yeah. He got one. Keep it in the water. I might have to get in. Do it. I, I want to help you one. find some stuff. Yeah, I kind of want to catch one. So Fisher's rocking the GoPro camera now. He jumped in as soon as we pulled up and saw these mahi. Yeah, I'm just going to let the rest of this all play out. Enjoy. This ends up being a blast. This school's right around y'all. eat the lures they're chasing this lure but they won't eat they're so keep them coming small. Oh, they're everywhere we were just talking about mahi yeah. yeah popped up on the back of the shrimp boat we're neutral. Oh, baby. Mahi everywhere. Mahi town. Off the trip boat. Fisher's going to try to hook up. Not I on himself. <laughs> uh, user error. <laughs> See you, Braden. Get another one. Hey, get him in the boat and catch another one. No! All right, throw it back in, throw it back in, throw it back in. Yank it, yank it, yank it. Right oh! there, right there. Oh, throw it again, throw it again, throw it again. Right here, right here. It's tight. Because they got soft. I got him. Yeah, <laughs> soft. All right, all right, pitch him in, pitch him in. Bass flip him. Boat flip him. There you go, son. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I prayed to shot one, God. too. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs>
Boom, baby. Running back in, stopping at shrimp boats and mahi everywhere. Mahi all over. Fisher hopped in, smoked some, and I jumped in after he did. So cool, such a treat. They're so pretty. Show them the show them the lit up ones. Such a treat. They're so pretty. My head camera GoPro died, so unfortunately I don't have that. We have Fisher shots, but we're just enjoying it. This is fun. Definitely not something you get to do all the time. Where we're at. Keep going. You're gonna eat good. How about that, baby? Mahi on the back of the shrimp boats on the way in. Got chaotic real fast. <laughs> Had a lot of unplanned mayhem go down right here. Fisher, show us what bigger. we're using here. The old slow pitch jigging and reel, and then the juice, Look at him the go. magic. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> using the gotcha plug, just popping it real hard, and they are all over it. So it's a bit chaotic. That's kind of how we're doing this. There's just a ton. And we're just gonna enjoy it. So I'm gonna let the GoPro roll here. It's on, it's on, it's on. Look at this! Hand line! Hand line mahi, they baby! Look at all of them! Woo! Let's let them jump! Let them jump! Oh, dude, they're all over it. Oh! Come on, jump. jump, baby, oh. jump! Let them, let them take a line, let them take a line. Jump! <laughs> oh, that's there? a bigger one. Yeah, I can't believe they started to eat all of a sudden. He got him turned on with that little gold that little jig. Spoon, dude. Yeah, that spoon. little silver jig. Oh, they're on you. They're on you. Oh, yes. Yes, got him. Got him. Right here. Jump, baby, this jump. Side of the boat. Bring it over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got him. Yes sir! Let's go! Boat flip. Bring it around this side. Boom! Dude, that one just jumped Wait, out the water. Tony, just, oh my God, he's don't even reel. Just pop it as hard as you can. As fast yeah, as you can. Yeah, the popping is... Because that makes the flash, makes them spaz out. Right here, in this real for today. <laughs> Not expect that. Oh my god, this is nailed. Getting nailed. Dude, they're on top. They're oh, on top. You said. <laughs> oh, he came off. Oh, another one. Look at this. Look at all of them. I'm launching this thing. Those out aren't there. even. Launching it out there. Look at that. Got hey, it. Hey, there you go. Look at that. Here, let me go under. Right here. Right here. Make him jump. Oh. This is a blast. Oh. oh. Heck yeah. <laughs> In the boat. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Dude, immediately. This. It's getting crazy. Oh my god, you see that? It Check is getting oh <laughs> they were not eating anything when we first started throwing at them and now they are going off. They look like yellow tails. Oh there you two there you go clockwork right here over you. Boom! Once they get the boat, they're like, oh, dude, they were going on, on this gotcha plug like every cast. Oh, they yeah, got it. There he is. Jump, 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 jump. 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 Going nuts. Come on, give him a jump. Fisher's first oh, time on the mahi. Fisher, you got your first spear mahi. Catching your first ones yeah. today, same time. <laughs> it has gone wild. Yeah. Just missed it, but it got hooked. I can't complain. We decided we were gonna 
hit some shrimp boats on the way back. And we got into, I guess, more than any of us really expected. Good job, oh. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh. You're loving this place. I love it. Dude, we have at least 20 now. Oh, over. All right, y'all, we are cooking the mahi and the cobia. Here's the mahi, we actually got some burgers as well. Here's the cobia, I got it all seasoned up. We're gonna wrap these up in the foil and then throw them on the grill. It's gonna get down to 350 here in a minute and then we will cook them. All right, here we go. Grill is down to where we want it. Fish are going on. Some good eats right there. Smells good already. All right, there is the final product. We got mahi tacos. Got to cut a cobia right there. Got some tater tots and a burger. Mm. There's Blaine's. <laughs> About to be eating really good. All right, here we go. Here's a mahi taco. Just got some pico de gallo on there. Tortilla's kind of crumbling. Pretty good. It's falling apart, but take two. Got a fork. Tacos falling apart. There is the mahi. That is awesome. And here is the cobia. Just left that in a steak. You cannot go wrong. Kept it really simple. It is delicious. There you go.